as I said, we're not going to spend a lot of time in this course talking about how you fill an access structure, how you uh, put the values in the access structure. We're really going to be talking about the, um, the structure itself. But I would, be la I would be remiss if I didn't talk at least for a few moments about how difficult it is to do that job of filling the access structure, of creating the values. Um, and here's three real big reasons. And why, by the way, if um, you decide to pursue that discipline as well, you become, for example, a taxonomist whose job is, in addition, or maybe usually more often than creating the structure of the access uh, mechanism, then uh, more often than creating the structure, filling the, the structure. So if you decide to do that, I think you're, you're pursuing a difficult and also a very rewarding career. The reason why it's difficult is you have to really immerse yourself in the information in order to be able to figure out its structure. Now that doesn't mean you have to be an expert in the information, and my, my paradigmatic case of this is classical indexers, people who could index any book that you give them, even though they have no idea about the subject matter. That's an amazing skill if you think about it. That's an incredible ability to climb inside a base of information, a conceptual space of information, figure out the most significant terms in that space, and represent them in a way that end users will understand. That's a big talent. That's, an, that's a really hard talent to find, and if you're really good at that, then you should definitely pursue it because it's a rare talent to find as well. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is that they're very labor intensive. They're very, they're very hard to, uh, or it takes a lot of time to create these access structures, to fill the taxonomy full of terms, to figure out what term applies to each item. If you have thousands of items and each item only takes five minutes to fill full of um, access data or metadata, um, that's still 5,000 minutes that you need to apply to that. That's many, many hours. And of course, it's not only five minutes, it could be a lot longer. I'm starting to get rained on here, but that's okay, we're almost finished. Um, so reason number, reason number one is it's very difficult to do. It takes a hugely skilled person to climb inside that knowledge, that information base, and create the words that organize it. Reason number two is it's very time consuming to fill it. And reason number three, and this is probably the killer reason why access structures are so difficult to, um, uh, to create and maintain from a value standpoint, not from a structural standpoint, is that the work never ends. Every time you add a new item of information to the information base, you need to index that, you need to add the metadata values, and by adding that new item of information, you've changed the information base. And so potentially you might have to go and reorganize all the terminology, all the words, all the structures that you've already created. So the maintenance of the access structure is extremely difficult as well. And so, as I said, we won't spend a lot of time on constructing the values of, 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 uh, um, of access structures, but I want you to, to know from the start that the talent required and the effort required means that oftentimes access structures are uh, underplayed or ignored, and that's one reason you may find why search always seems to come to the rescue. Why does search come to the rescue? Doesn't require any people doesn't require any skill, doesn't require any talent. You don't need a taxonomist, or at least not for the basic search that most people use, do you need a taxonomist? And of course, in order to really make search work, you need the same taxonomist as you needed in order to make your hierarchies work, but often people will deny that and they'll just create the, they'll just, they'll just turn on search in hopes that that will solve all their access issues. And I hope you, if you learn nothing else during this class, it's that there's many ways of access and each way of access has its own affordances, has its own abilities, and you need to choose the right one in the right circumstance.